How you doing everyone? Welcome to my friend Joel's uh, pad, not pad, what are we calling it? Workshop. Workshop, sure. Well set up, he's only just finished this. So I've come here today because I want to have a look at this. Is it a myth? Is it going to be any good? We've got to try it, trying a small wheel in the back of the bike. So as you can see down here, we have mine, which is 29, 29, 140 travel and 165 on the front. That's the FS, and then we have, well, mine's the FS Niner, and then we have an FS here, one of the demo fleet. We don't have any demos for a couple of weeks. So, this is a 160 mil front and rear, 650. Apparently, according to Dan Stanton, the back end will go straight on with the linkages. So, we're gonna try it, but first of all, we're gonna do some measurements and have a look at some angles and just basically compare it when we're finished. What's this app called? Angle Pro. Angle Pro, let's yeah. have a look what yeah. she's saying. Is your is your floor bang on level, do you think? Um no, we'll give it a go. Some <laughs> some crackhead did it a long time ago, but go on then. <laughs> What's she saying? 62 degrees, bang on. Wow, <laughs> I thought it was 63 and three quarters. So that's only a basis. The main thing I want to do is just compare it uh, when the back end is on more than worrying about what it is because I can ride it like that. So uh, time to get the back end off the 650. Right, so the back end's off. We've got, as you can see, we've got two rockers. This is the lower one here. And then we've got the upper one here that the shock's attached to. Both are different on the 650. We've just done some measuring. And then you've got the two linkage bolts, which are here. So, um, just gotta get this one off, get my bike on, and then swap them over. So we've got them both off. This is the one I've taken off the 650. This is the um, top rocker. And this is the one off the 29. And you can see the difference if I hold the top one's level. So uh, that one's like, this one here on the 29 is obviously shorter there. And the entire length, I think the entire length is the same. Yeah, the entire length is the same. So it's the, the difference is just the part where the shock mounts and I think that is just so you get uh, the 160 travel instead of the 140 so the um, 651 is going on to mine so I want the 160 because then hopefully with that extra 20 mil you're not doing what a lot of people do and they'll just put a um, small wheel on the back and then all of a sudden the bike sits down the head angle is too, too slack the BB is too low so, well, we'll see. We'll get it back together. Oh, let's just compare the back ends as well while we're at it. So here's my back end. And here's that one. So put them together. Actually, those, link, those links are the same. Yeah, they are. So we put them level. And then bang on level. Yeah, you can see here that uh, maybe 20 mil shorter on the 650 back end as well. So it is going to be shorter. I think the 29 back end is 435. So probably what, 425? Interesting stuff. Let's get it on. Right, uh, we're getting there now. That is all pretty much straightforward. You can um, you can tell it's a little bit shorter just because the cables needed sort of pushing through a little bit. Uh, I am nicking the wheel off this bike as well. Uh, it's a Stan's carbon. Um, I could have nicked maybe Todd's Envy and borrowed it, but he wants to ride this weekend, so that's not happening. 
Uh, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the Goodyear out because I've been running these WTBs and really liking these new Trail Boss 2.4s. This is for Todd's bike. For, um, this is going on his soon, so I'm going to borrow this one. Um, we're as near to my setup on the 29 as possible. Got a carbon rim, but it's not an MV, but near enough. Uh, let's finish it off. We're on and we're done and it's all pretty much pain free really. Um, the chain I've used is off the 650 because obviously with a shorter back end it needed a shorter chain so that's gone on there. The wheel has a smaller rotor than mine, I couldn't be bothered to change that for the sake of uh, 20 mm I'm going to notice that in the mud and stuff. So I'm just going to sit on it now, see how it feels and then check all the angles and get it off. Clearance on the back ends. Wow. I actually quite like it. I like the colour, even though it's a bit of a mad look. It's really weird. I quite like it. Oh, definitely feels like more travel. Balls are in the way. Balls like. <laughs> I'm Try it with your phone. Go for it. Now we have to remember this isn't an exact science. Uh, the main thing is that the front wheel is exactly straight. One degree less. What to run 61 degrees. That's mega slack, so I'm just going to have to try it. The only other thing that can be done if I feel it's a bit too slack and vague is uh, maybe reduce the travel to 150. What do you think? You know, 150 on the front, 160 on the back, is that a bit weird or what do you reckon? It looks quite. It looks. It looks like it's going to handle really well. It's right short from the back end. Long, so if you did reduce, if you reduced it by 10 mil, mm. uh, 15 mil in the travel, 10 mil is half a degree, so it'd be three quarters of a degree. So we'd nearly be back at 62. Yeah. So I'll try it. I'll just try it, and I'll know if I like it. Right. Yeah. Looks wild. Yeah. Right, if you want to know about a few differences, they're written on here. You see me big notepad because I couldn't find any paper. Uh, head angle, as you said, has gone according to that angle thing down from 62 to 61. But that could be slightly out. I mean, there's the um, you don't know how accurate they are, but you do know it's a one degree slacker difference. Wheelbase. 1270 originally on the 29 so that's now down to 1258 so that is 12 mil shorter all the 12s and then bottom bracket height off the floor was 360 originally and now we're at 352 8 mil lower so that could be interesting so all we've got to do now with this bike is get it out onto the trails uh, I'm taking it to Eastridge Woods and basically I'm going to take it on some steep stuff that I know about, I know what, you know how a bike handles on these and how I can ride and also some kind of flattish rocky stuff because that's where I'm thinking the 29 will be better. I'm hoping that the small back wheel will make the tight turns better because that's what I struggle on but who knows, let's get to Eastridge. Right, so overnight, thinking about this head angle, I want to know what it is, not happy about not knowing and guessing with these apps, so I'm just going to go to JTEC now and quickly borrow their proper angle finder, and let's see the truth. Right, we're all at JTEC, James is uh, going to be very kind and check this out for us. Is it 61 degrees? It's just what my saying. 61.3, so it was quite... Accurate? Yeah, not yeah. bad. Didn't that handle like a pig or do you think it'll be alright? If you're good at the straight line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and do you, do you yeah. think by getting it, uh, I could reduce that by a 150 fork and then the 140 back end? Because I think the back end keeps it in the same stance. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I was to... Yeah, yeah, with the 140 back end you would be sat. 
then your dynamic position would be higher. Yeah. Because you wouldn't be setting to travel as far. Yeah. So you're sagged, um, and then we drop it. If you drop it on 15 mil. 15 mil, yeah. What's that? Is that what, what, three quarters of a degree? Possibly. Yeah, yeah, we'd have okay. to work it out then. Um, so yeah, in terms of getting grip to the front end, um, if you think about where your, your, the main part of your weight is uh, put through the bike, which is your bottom right now, if you shorten the back end, you're effectively reducing the amount of leverage that that weight is pushing up to the front. With a, with a longer back end, you're actually putting more weight on the front wheel centered through the bottom bracket mm -hmm. um, so when you shorten that you're effectively putting less weight to the front and more to the rear wheel um, so you, you you could have a little bit of problem with front end grip really okay well that can be sort of step two of this mullet uh, experiment so for now I'll get out there and give her a whirl yeah cool. cheers mate no worries so we come to Eastridge today, uh, the local, I actually haven't been here for about six weeks, but I know these trails and I know how the bikes react here. You know, I'm totally used to it as a 2929. The only thing that, uh, the only thing I'm thinking, come on in, is I kind of wish I hadn't looked at the fork angle and stuff before I rode it. I thought, I think um, maybe it would be better if I'd have had no preconceived notions so you know 61.3 degrees i'm thinking is it going to be like really washy on the front is it going to uh struggle around the tight turns but if i hadn't checked it first i might not have thought of that you know sometimes you can think things are going to happen and then you think they are happening because of that but who knows let's get the bikes up there let's try them out let's get them off this awesome bike stow rack which is i'm so chuffed with it so with us today is Daniel, Todney's friend here, who is riding Hello. one of the um, Stanton demo bikes, ready for yours, which will be any moment now. Yeah. And then, um, too much talking, shush. So Todd's rocking all new kit, what have you got? So we've got the Ion Haze gloves, the winter ones, uh, new Ion waterproof jacket, waterproof shorts, knee pads and shoes. Man, you look stunning in all your <laughs> new kit. You are so lucky, it's ridiculous. That jacket's like 200 quid. Is it? Yeah, they're really, that's, they're voted the best jacket you can own. Whoa. For water, winter, water wool. Ooh. Right, so uphill, first test on the fire road. Does it feel any different? No. I've sometimes thought that maybe a 650 will climb better because it's like a gearing, it's like a lower gear, but then you compensate with your gears, so no difference there. So you can definitely feel that it is a low BB because I don't have to stretch my uh, calf and foot down as much to touch the ground. Um, but I'm hoping that'll be a bonus when it comes to the tight turns. So this trail here at the top, it's quite fast, but pedally as well, and uh, very rocky and rough. So this is the one where I'm gonna see if I'm hindered by the small back wheel. Um, and also, you know, how well it's gonna pedal and how the, bot the low bottom bracket feels. So, to be honest, so far, it doesn't really feel any different. Feels nice actually. It seems to turn all right. So it's good on the rough stuff. This is where I have come off once on a bike with a low BB. There. Uh, yeah, good. Nothing to moan about there. It's running very slow, isn't it? Is that, that's not just me, is it? Because it's very wet and stodgy. So. I'm going to kind of ignore that feeling. Come on then. So flat pedally bit now. See how it feels on here. Compared to the 29 that I think would maybe roll a bit better. Uh, 
really hard to tell because obviously it's a wet day wetter than last time I was up here it feels all right I'm not going to get too hung up on the 160 versus 140 rear travel because I've got an idea in mind for that anyway now we have some flattish type turns coming up where we can sort of see you know whether this slackhead angle is going to be biting him in the arse alright so far I haven't got on it and gone wow just seems alright pretty good actually you know considering this is first run and I usually have first run blues right so this next track is uh, we got some steepy stuff now now what I'm expecting on this is it to be actually good with the tightest of few tight turns not that tight the next one's got the tight turns this is more just steep single track um, and obviously with the slack head angle it should help it definitely feels weirdly softer on the back end but I'm guessing that's because it's uh, it's gone up 20 mil I like it actually yeah very nice absolutely no worries down here it feels awesome actually yeah man I do like that a lot right so this is a bit more of a like single tracky trail it's got some good bits in it so so far I'm impressed and it's quite nice that feeling of the extra travel uh, you know, I mean, with the 140 on these bikes, I feel like it's endless. But with this on, well, it's unreal. This is definitely as slick as it gets around here today. So it's feeling good. Right, we're on to a uh, steep, sort of techy climb now. And, uh, this is about as steep as I want to climb when I'm up here. Uh, feels a little bit vague, and not much different. It's not really trying to wheelie all the time. I know it won't look steep on camera. This is a bit I always struggle on. Yes. Yeah, that's okay. It's better than my fitness. You know where it goes here, don't you? Down there, left, and then drops in right. <laughs> right, so this track starts off with a bit of high speed, and then this is the one with the uh, lot steeper turns, steeper tight turns, should I say, a lot more techy. Ooh. Okay, guys. Where's Ian? Yeah. Right Ian, how's your uh, 650 back end going? Oi, all right? He says whatever, I'll go with any size. <sighs> here we go. And also, will it feel sketchy when we get this high speed bit here? It's definitely slick. <laughs> yeah, that felt, that felt no different to honest. Yeah, on the pedals and here come the tighter turns no worries no worries 61 will be too slack they said not here maybe at uh, trail center perhaps that's where I should try it no but it's bloody brilliant here. Really, really good. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, man. 
you know bearing in mind this is as slick as it gets here without it actually been snowing whoa that's a tricky turn lovely whoa. not going through all that shite on in what's this you on it great good lad come on struggling there mate come on up oh, got ya good boy you love it don't you so the one bottom bracket test i do on every bike i get on when i used to test bikes just as a little sort of standard test to see how low they were is put my heel down as low as it will go and see how easily it drags on the road oh. This is horrible to ride on, isn't it? Yeah. How's the kit feeling on here? Good. So we've got the final sort of climb up to the top. We'll call in at the cottages and then ride her back to the van. Proper mountain bike ride, Todd. So that's it, the decision has been made and it's a decision that I really didn't think I was going to be making. I did think I'd be going 29, so we're going to go 140, 150 mullet. Really excited about getting this new bike. Um, today has been awesome getting out there and trying all this and obviously that's why we work with Stanton because we can do all this stuff with them. Uh, check out all the links in the description. Obviously our website's in there. You can get these gilets. This one has been absolutely perfect today. 100% waterproof. Open it up when you get too warm. That's my sales pitch. So be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell so that you get any notifications of any new videos. Give us a comment. I want to know exactly what you think about this mullet situation. I wasn't convinced, but I kind of am now. Thanks for watching. Keep it pinned.